Uh, There's more food downstairs. Are we unmuted? Yes. We are. Okay. So welcome, everybody, to this meeting of the Cemetery Board. Uh, I'm Dan Shapiro, uh, Secretary of State, Rosanna Rosado's designee as chair. Paul Ambrose, representing Commissioner Howard Zucker of the Department of Health. And Christopher Lyle, representing the Attorney General. And this Eric Schneider. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and this elfin man here. <laughs> oh, uh, okay. Louis Polishuk, Division Director and Santa's Helper. <laughs> Okay, thanks, Lewis. <laughs> Chester Buckwitz, uh, Assistant Director of the Cemeteries. Jacqueline Frischat, Secretary, Division Cemeteries. Mike Seelman, Senior Investigator, Division Cemeteries. Ryan Green, Investigator, Division Cemeteries. Chris Casco, Senior Accountant, Division of Cemeteries. Brendan Stanton, Investigator, Division of Cemeteries. Joe Ambrose, Associate Accountant, Division of Cemeteries. Tony Melillo, Counsel to the Cemetery Board. And that is, in fact, the Division's <laughs> Christmas tree. <laughs> A little Charlie Brannish, but uh, we'll, we'll accept it. <laughs> we, we, we spared you the dancing Snoopy. Thank you. All righty, Cemetery Board. Now we have two batches to go through, October and November. Is yes. that right? We yes, do October we did not do the November okay. minutes at the, the right. October minutes at the November special. So let's special do meeting. the last first, October. Uh, I see lots of notations to the left of me, so I'm going to let you go first. Well, most of mine are editorial. Um, on the divisions report, the last item on the segregation of payments again was in applications and vouchers. I don't understand what that's all about. I, I don't know if it, the public would understand it if they were reading this either. So I, I, if something could be done with that to make it comprehensible. I think it would be a good idea, unless I'm just not getting it. You meant uh, periodic payments, Lewis? Is paying right? only a portion, yes. Yeah. So paying over time rather than all at once. Maybe we can. Splitting payments? I don't, what, oh, what is the significance of it? Why are we reporting it? I don't know what the importance because to the public is. Because the importance to the public is zero. The importance to cemeteries is significant because they need to expect that they're not going to be getting a lump sum up front for the entire job, but rather they're just going to get a down payment. Great. And uh, they and oh, okay. in most cases, it'll just be two payments, one upfront payment, one payment after the they're done when we inspect it. For larger jobs, there'll be progress payments. Can you say that? Yeah, I, 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 that's what like that, that is more or less what I said, <laughs> so I can say that. Thank you. All right. Um, on the new rural cemetery land sale, um, I think in, in this, in the minutes here and the, the following minutes, if there's any reference to council, I think we should say council to the cemetery board. To be specific, I think it would help. You're right. Good point. You said you're also council of the division. Well, I mean, yeah, it means not the cemetery's council. Right. Oh, okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And on the public comments, uh, Mr. Fleming's uh, statement explained. Mr. Fleming uh, commented on solar projects and how they have state programs through ICERTA. It's a little awkward. It needs to be reworded. I'm not sure what, if there's a missing word in there or something. It's state state programs administered through ICERTA. Right then. Right. Yeah. Thank you. What do I know? <laughs> and I believe the message there is that the land, neither land nor parcels are leased or sold, or, or I'm sorry. Um, neither land nor panels are leased or sold. Is that basically what that's saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because it uh, conflicts with the next month's minutes. Well, they may have clarified this particular transaction in the month that intervened. That's, I, I have just a minor okay. I'm not taking this test. All right. Any other uh, comments on the minutes? This is just October. That was October. October. Yeah, oh. October, right? All right. Can I have a motion? Move to approve the minutes by October 23rd. As amended. As amended. <laughs> Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Very good. Next minutes. I actually had one. Just one. 
so I'm going to say it for fun. Uh, <laughs> to be leased as opposed to leased, that's in um, uh, Vale Cemetery, second page, third line down. It says leased. Should be leased. That's my big contribution. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and this good idea. This um, Vale Cemetery application uh, model is solar to lease for 20 years. Basically, contradicts what we said in the last minutes. Is the land is not. Land they're not. They're, they're not leased leasing leased. land. There are they? Uh, yes. There's, yes. There is a lease. Yep. I think what we were referring to is they're not selling the land in the previous minutes. Was they're not selling the land and not selling or leasing the panels. I think that's what the pre the October minutes were meant to say. Then again, you just prove them saying something else. Oh, wait, well, wait a minute. Where, where is it? Where, even though we just went back, maybe I missed the issue. Where, where is it in, in the October minutes? In Mr. Fleming's comments. Mr. Well, but, 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 but Mr. Fleming's comments aren't what we say. But that's all right. You know, that's whatever whatever was said, was recorded. It, it's, it, it, uh, but this is what we have for our opinion. That's fine. Boy, that's annoying. <laughs> uh, okay. So, um, but this is the way it is. Yeah. And if we could make the second paragraph of the cemetery a bullet to list, I think it would be a, a really understandable. Easier to be Sure. Yeah, it would be. And also, uh, this is Division Council. There's a reference to Division Council in this. Is that what is intended or Board yes. Council? It's Division well, in this case? I'm both. We're, we're everything. Right. He's everything. He's everything for everybody. I don't think that matters so much. I think it does, you're right that it does matter to distinguish <coughs> council for it within the Department of State yeah. versus council for a cemetery. Itself. We could just arrive at the title Cemeteries Council. And that works. That would encompass everything. Anything else, Paul? Nope. Okay, I, I like the bulleted list idea, so that's a. Will be part of the amendment. All right. Thank you. Motion? A motion to uh, approve the minutes of the November 2nd. As amended. Yes. As second. As second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Great. All right. Mr. Malulo, legislation and regulation. Happily, still nothing to report. <laughs> that may change in the near future. Very, very soon. Actually, <laughs> it has changed. I looked. I didn't see the, it. Uh, I believe since the last meeting, the um, society's bill was signed. Is that right? Yep. Okay. I, I, it definitely was signed. The part I'm not sure about is the since the last meeting part. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, which I was going to talk about. We'll report on. Well, you can talk about it. Tony will report on it next time. This will come. Right. All right. Well, by which point we might have more to report. Back. We'll, we'll, that's a great segue. We'll go right into talking about legislation since you know of it. Your report, Mr. Oh, Apology. division report. Okay, yes. fine. So, number one thing is. Uh, our last year's annual report form proved not to be very popular, so we've revised it again. Uh, this one looks and works much more like our old report. It captures more information. Old meaning not last year's, the one that we used up until last year. Mm -hmm. We're about ready to roll it out. Uh, and the other cool thing it does, which is new for this year, is that it will do your calculations for you online. So it's a fill-in PDF. You can't... You can't submit it electronically, but you can fill in stuff on a computer. Yeah. It'll add it all up, then when then you print it out and send it in. Nice. This is new for this year. And it's being printed by administrative rules as we speak. All right, that's what was the issue with the uh, the major issue? Mostly the issue was there were two there were two issues. One is it was twelve pages long, even though most cemeteries only had to fill out three pages. Mm -hmm. This one is going to be five pages of text plus one page of instructions. Um, for things that most cemeteries do not have to fill out, we're going to refer them to our website and ask them to print them out. Okay. And um, the vast majority of that will be five pages. Um, and the other thing that we got hung up on was the calculation of permanent maintenance liability. Um, a permanent maintenance liability is ended up. And, Per perpetual care account liability. The format we did it in and uh, the, just the way it was laid out was incredibly confusing and people couldn't figure it out. The new version looks more like the old version, which people were more or less able to figure out. 
<coughs> those are the two. There aren't so many substantive changes per se. That's the other thing that we've made clear is that the only piece of <coughs> the cemetery's 990 that we want is the page showing um, officer, director, and key employee compensation. Mm -hmm. And that's in the instructions now. Good. Um, so that, I think, takes care of the annual report form. Okay. Uh, we anticipate our mailing going out the first week in January. Um, more or less when it's gone out in the last few years. And the other thing is, so this, uh, legis this legislation is sponsored by the State Association of Cemeteries on um, reclamation of uh, graves owned by burial societies where the burial society is not religious in nature, uh, was signed by the governor. And uh, we currently intend to develop and issue some guidance on it Good. in working with council, obviously, and making sure we talk to the folks at, good folks at NYSAC who sponsored the thing in the first place. Um, but that's, we've received one inquiry so far in reclaiming the society's graves. I assume we will be getting a lot more. Good, good thing. And we want to give you informed advice on this. Okay. Very good. Thank Is you. the annual report, Lewis, now new one on the website? Uh, not yet. It will be Shortly. within a week or so. Okay. <laughs> if you want to walk out of here with a copy, but I can edit and bring them up to you, but I can do it. All right, thank you. Um, vandalism. For the fiscal year ending March 31st, 2018, uh, so far, vandalism fees collected were $137,929. Uh, applications granted totaled $880,935. Applications pending totaled $986,607. Thank you. All of the above being exclusive of uh, the uh, abandoned application for spring labels. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right. Hillsboro Cemetery Association. Um, any comments on this one? Which one? Yes, I do. It's hazardous around here. Oh. On the prairie, on your company's estimate, they say that the uh, work will be warranted for 10 years on all cement work. It says nothing about impossible sealing. It says on the other estimate from the, uh, the other bidder. And I'm wondering whether both are typically covered. Generally, the what we're looking for with the warranty is to make sure that the foundation doesn't tip because that's what creates the problem. Um, I can follow up to see if they are, in fact, going to warranty that. But generally, that's not the issue as much as whether the foundation's proper. The, um, I, I, am I right in recollecting that the second bid was like 1500 bucks more expensive? Um, Actually, twenty more than that. It's more than three thousand more. Oh, more than three thousand. Yeah. It's just under. Three, it's twenty eight hundred more. So I, I, I don't think that since, in light of what you just recited, I don't think that would have made a difference in the selection of the vendor. But it would be nice to follow up in any event. Does that sound good to you? I, I think when, when you communicate with these folks, we should probably make it clear that we expect both to be covered for ten years. Huh? <laughs> if this becomes a pattern and people start not guaranteeing the, the sealant and epoxy or something, mm -hmm. we're kind of not really getting the warranty that we'd like. Right. So I'll follow up with them on that. Yeah, but, I, but it's not going to it's not going to impact the award here. Okay. <laughs> All right. With that in mind, um, any further conversation? Do you have a motion? I move to accept the application. Of the Haleboro Cemetery Association for hazardous mining repair. That's great. That works. Second. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Do we have an order, Chuck? Yep. Only one for the land sale. Wait. 
Um, yeah, go ahead. Okay. All right. Colin Barium. That one doesn't need an order. Lancaster Rural. Somebody want to tell us about it? Lancaster Rural is going to put in a third columbarium. Uh, at the writing of this report, they had five niches left for sale on the previous two. They've been selling, I think, an average of six or seven a year for the last three years. Um, they got approval of their board. They've had their uh, notice posted. They haven't had any response. And they want to spend $11,500, and their projected income is $110,000. Yep. yep, that's pretty good. <laughs> um, I'm just uh, curious. There was something in there that was uh, said pretty admirable. In 2016, uh, they um, went from direct employees to contracting out the interments. And that's saving five grand as of the date of looking at that issue. Is that right? I was looking to see where to find that in the um, in the income and expenses. Wait, which? Or just did I? Upon something inconsequential. I thought it was a good thing. I didn't know what the hell it is. Do you need one for those? Mm -hmm. Hang on. You're looking at the income and expenses? Yeah, I mean, they go down. They go down from. Um, That's, there, there it is. Which is good. 59,811 in 2015 to 48. I mean, 10,000 bucks cheaper. And the income goes from negative to positive. Yeah, no, I understand that. Was that all? Was that all doing on to the to the change out to the uh, independent contractor? Well, no, because the wages only changed by ten, uh, ten five. So, at least fifty five hundred of that is okay, or seventy five hundred of that has to be something else because it's not up otherwise. But the revenue is higher mostly through. Grants and sale of they must have sold the oh they sold the equipment uh, that's what it is okay. they sold the equipment that they no longer needed presumably okay. do you see that line to sale of yep. equipment yeah yeah all right yes that was the fifty thousand dollars yeah mm -hmm. okay I, which I was just curious about but that was good in their part a minor question yeah it seems minor in fact. Uh, on Exhibit 1, it says the estimated annual cost of maintaining the unit is $300. <laughs> so yeah, we got to. Yes. And on Schedule A, it says 500 yeah, And then it, it's neither. It's actually 50 Yeah. Maintaining a columbarium, essentially, you do nothing. You power wash it maybe once a year. And other than that, you don't really have much maintenance yeah. to do. I thought we were going to do a correct it or something on that, or you were just going to say only something have like else. <laughs> well, the math turns out to be right because we're not changing. We used 50 in Sam's calculations. Right. Okay. So it was the number, the accurate number is 50 a year, which is 500 over 10 years. And it's a 10 year analysis, so the 500 number is the right number to use. 50 times 10 being 500. Right. Any, other, uh, any other concerns, conversation about this one? No. Here to make a, another one. See if I can do it correctly. Yes, you can. You can moat. There will be a short quiz. It's been great. There's magic in that bow tie. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I would move uh, to approve the application of the Lancaster Rural Cemetery in Erie County for the construction of a column barrier. That was just beautiful. beautiful. Then you should say. I will. I'll second. <laughs> All in favor? Say aye. 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 All right. Laurel Grove land sale. Can you take us through this? Um, sure. Yeah, Laurel Grove Cemetery was approached by the city of Port Jervis um, to sell a small portion of land and provide a temporary easement for the construction of a new bridge over the Never Sink River on U.S. Highway 6. Okay. Um, now. I, I noted the map that was given to us uh, in the uh, in the folder, and uh, Tony has been wonderful 
in. Um, I certainly couldn't understand. Yes, I couldn't understand <laughs> either. So I said, Tony, what do I make of this? Right. He said, Oh, I look what I already did. So the section of the of the bridge and the the sail is right here. The yellow. All right, the yellow. And the, this and this is the part of the green. That's a yeah. Their construction easement is right here. Now, this doesn't tell us, show us anything, how this affects the cemetery, which was my concern. Yeah, it doesn't. The, uh, the land to be sold slopes directly into the Never Sink River. It's completely unusable. That's very important to know. Okay. And it's worded. And Just to show you where it is in the Tony cemetery. then did a Google search. <laughs> On which it? I drew incorrectly the parcel of land. Okay. So this is the cemetery, and that's this little strip of land right up along the road and along the river. This is the cemetery in here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. From back here That's all the way to the road. Oh, there's more so there's, there's this. Uh, okay. That little strip right there. And this and this is the, the, the easement? The easement, yeah. I drew it too large, but essentially that's what it all is. All right, so wooded sloping to? The river. Right. Some of it's actually on the water because the, the D description describes right. it as. It goes out into the, the, the center of the river. The river. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Well, that doesn't appear to impact cemetery operations or its future in any they way. They won't know it's gone. <laughs> and well, I think it's a two-year easement to allow them to do the construction. Right. And, and in fact, that goes back to the cemetery. Brendan, I forget if you mentioned this in your report, but it's kind of a sharp curve right at the cemetery's gates. And every now and then a car doesn't make the curve and hits the cemetery's gates. Or where, are, where, where are the right gates here. right here? The gates, this, so the gates are the right gates right here. And there's your curve. Somebody's coming around Route Six. I, I believe one of the by it's, widening. It's not going to. It's not going to affect the curve, curve. But by widening it, they were hoping the piece we spoke to people at the cemetery. They were hoping that that will at least give cars more room for error in making the turn. Mm -hmm. Well, that would improve the the approach. Yeah, although of course it might by widening it, they might just speed up. So, the um, I would suggest that in the future, that, that was really smart. <laughs> we. Do something if, if the cemetery doesn't give it to us. They usually just to do Google Earth probably. the thing. Yeah, I know. I'm not, but that because it was with almost essential to have this. What about the uh, replacement of the concrete wall? Is that significant? They included it in the appropriation, taking the wall and I think some sidewalk. I don't think they spoke but to us about that. It's uh, not their wall. It's, it's not yeah. Right along. It, it, it must be referring to the uh, the retaining wall and the abutment beneath the bridge, so it wouldn't have any There's impact. No wall that they don't have a concrete There's no wall, wall no. at the cemetery, no. All right, so they get paid for that even though they don't have it. It's probably something that was built on their land at some point, and now they're going you know, to And they don't, care, they don't care about that. Right. The second question is who's paying the legal fees here? Um, the city of Port Jervis. All right, so it's, it is it's their lawyer. It will be three thousand in their pocket. Correct. Net. Yep. Well, not exactly in their pocket. Well, permanent maintenance in right. their pocket. Yeah. I like that particular pocket. The cemetery's health. Right. Okay. All right. And the the, the I municipality mean, must have paid for the appraisal too, right? Yeah. So it's for the benefit of the did. municipality. Yep. All right. There are a couple of cool things about the cemetery to note. The main one being that um, uh, the tri-states monument is either. Well, unclear to me, either in or immediately adjacent to the cemetery, the spot where Pennsylvania, New York, and New Jersey meet. Yes. You can't see it here, but it's at right. It's at the tip of this mm -hmm. little you know, land. Um, they also, um, Brandon noted that they're sold out. There, when we were there, they're exploring. They have several unused paths and roads mm -hmm. that um, they could close and turn into usable space. And they're, they're trying to figure out whether they would actually have a market for it if they did go ahead and develop that. Very good. All right. Any further discussion on this uh, application? Yeah, Tony, we, we make recommend. I always forget this. We have. The land sales. You can make a lang uh, yeah, formal you. language, I should say. Yeah, the order. Yeah. Which I actually would like to modify. It's way too formalistic. Uh, uh, on the fly. That's what I like. <laughs> You know what? Let's leave it all for now. <laughs> it's just one line that I think we, we can eliminate, but that's fine. So, yeah. If, if, if the motion includes the language under the word sale, that would be appropriate. Are we allowed to discuss in this? If we are, I'll motion. Yes. Okay. Unless you want 100%. You know, I mean, I. <laughs> <laughs> this type.
cemeteries. Yeah, yeah right. Uh, so in this motion, I'll make some findings first. When the cemetery board finds that, the land to be sold or disposed of is not used for burial purposes. The sale or disposition will benefit the cemetery corporation and the owners of plots and graves in the cemetery. That the sale or disposition is not to a funeral entity. And that sufficient notice of the application of this application and this meeting has been given to any person who is interested or who may be interested in this matter. I did see that in the file. Okay. Um, So we'll direct that any consideration received by the cemetery corporation unless the necessary expenses incurred shall be deposited to the cemetery's permanent maintenance fund. Fine. We approve the sale. That's my motion. Do I have a second? I'll second. All Mr. in favor Chairman. say aye. 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 Great. Yep. I didn't read everything, Tony. Rick, <laughs> <laughs> you guys need to sign this one. Oh, that one okay. gets signed. All right. Very good. And then we have one of these to... Um, All right, so, unusually, that is the extent of our public agenda. So at this point in time, uh, I don't even think we'll take a five-minute break. Why don't we just uh, open up the public comment? Well, that's going to do that anyway. So let's open up the public comment. Anybody care to address the board today? Mr. Fleming, you look expectantly at me. I, I don't want to let you down. <laughs> um, just two things. One, just administratively, can you just let me know what the dollar amount was for that transaction? Oh, which sure. One, the, uh, which one? The Laurel the Road. Three grand? 3200 Thank you. And uh, formerly David Fleming, representing the New York State Association of Cemeteries, was wondering if the division would also share with us a copy of the proposed annual report. Sure. How to the press? Just, just finalize. <laughs> no, you've you've already seen the previous drafts of it, and all we've done is uh, is correct some typos. That's fine. You just see it before. Sure. All right. So, um, yeah. So thanks, everybody. Uh, let's sit. Let's set next meeting date. Um, when, guys? What do you say? I can my calendar. Um, I mean, I'm all for the third Thursday in the month, but I have no idea when that is. I'll figure that out. Just the first 15, 15, the 18th. It's January 18th. Oh, correct. That sounds pretty good. Third Thursday. Uh, That's Martin Luther King week. Monday, oh, Monday's a holiday. Monday's a holiday. Thursday's, but Thursday's good. Oh, Thursday. Thursday's good. Huh? Are you at the MCA? I wasn't sure if we were going to the MCA. I mean... You want to make it Wednesday? We can make it Wednesday. That way you can... He says then the date is 1-17-18, which is kind of cool. Okay. <coughs> Wednesday look at folks at 10.30. Uh, what a nerd. Yes. Okay. We have our meeting date. Great stuff. All right. So uh, now we will take a five-minute break. Uh, before that, our motion is going to executive session for litigative and uh, investigative matters. Which you can motion. You just did. I just did. did. Second. You can say aye. 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 Okay. Five.
Okay. Having no resolutions, motions, or anything of note from executive session, I'll move to adjourn. I'll second that. All in favor say aye. 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 Very groovy and wonderful. Thanks all. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Before, before everybody is very groovy. Oh, uh, oh. Love that. We make the, uh, the holiday party, so please take some. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Take some. Take, take, some, take, some, take a, I'm going to take one. The Have you got party. any leftover locks? <laughs> no, no, no. Come on down That's in theirs. the fridge. It was fridge. delicious there. Oh, yeah. They were good. <laughs> we even have a leftover well, piece of pumpkin spice bagel. Yeah. To avoid pizza. Oh, but very like, nice. Yeah. Very nice. And, and then I heard it was lax and bagels. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. did you go? I ignored right? the pizza. Yeah. Went right for the wax. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You get any yeah. pizza? Can you grab one? <laughs> yeah, I yeah, went for both. This obesity crisis is going to start itself. Every year, he does this. Well, go ahead. We will. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much, Jeff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take one of those. Diane Something to accentuate the occasion. Very nice. There you go. Very nice. Thank you. Enjoy. Happy holidays. Thank you. Thank you, and uh, until the next time, right? Next year. That's right. Next year. Yes. yes. I'll come back just for this. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, always interesting, though, I tell you. I tell people I work at cemeteries. But before I tell them that, so I said, it's a little bit of accounting, a little bit of investigation, go to handle complaints, a little bit of law, because we deal with the AG's office. And I said, you sprinkle a little bit of embezzlement and fraud, and you're all set. They go, oh, where do you work? They think you work for the FBI. Or yeah. No, Division of Cemeteries. No, it's un unbelievable. You know? I was doing something with an SBCA board last week. Yeah. Yeah, and then, you know, reconstituting all that crap. And I said, you know, you, and a lot of them, a lot of them are new, so they weren't there when the, mm -hmm. when the crimes 